Hi guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Ella, for those of you who don't know. Uh, if you are not subscribed already, hit that little subscribe button down below. Every time I get a new subscriber, I do a little happy dance. So, you know, if you wanna make me dance, you should definitely hit it. And today's video is gonna be a what vegans eat video. I have been filming my dinners for the past seven days. Um, and I just thought I would do a little video of kind of what I eat for dinner on an average week. Obviously it changes every week. Um, this week I think I was pretty inventive, especially because I was doing this video. I was like, oh, let's do some interesting recipes. I haven't done any of the recipes like in full. So if you want the actual recipe and want me to show you how to cook the meal from start to finish, then I can do that. But this is just to give people a general idea of what I eat as a vegan for dinner on a weekly basis. So it's not all salads, trust me, I am not a salad kind of gal. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And here's meal number one. Hello everybody, it's Sunday evening and I just thought I'd show you meal number one of this video. Um, this one's quite a simple recipe. I just kind of got some inspiration from a recipe online, but I've cooked just some quinoa and bulgur wheat, um, and it's got a lemon and parsley dressing on there. Some pedron peppers with cracked salt on top and some stuffed mushrooms. So just put the mushrooms in the oven for about 10 minutes. And meanwhile, I fried the stuffing. So I fried the mushroom stems the garlic, some panko crumbs, olive oil, salt, pepper, and some um, sliced plum little tomatoes. Um, and then after I'd taken the mushrooms out of the oven, I put the topping on and then I put them back in the oven, sprinkled some nutritional yeast on top um, and let them cook for a further 15 minutes. So hopefully these are good. They're just kind of something that I've, I don't know, put together. Um, and we are obsessed with these pedron peppers at the moment and this is just a really easy and quick meal like I did this whilst having a bath and doing other stuff as well so it's just quite simple but yeah that's meal number one hello the end of another day it's actually super late it's like 10 20 right now and we're only just sitting down to have dinner because Johan's been climbing I've been at work so I got in had a bath because that's priorities and then cook something up. Johan prepared the beginning bit and then I cooked it. So this is what we've got. So tonight for dinner we've got stir fry. Um, got some crispy fried tofu there. I do the tofu salt and pepper so I just squeeze it out in my tofu press and then put a bunch of salt, a bunch of pepper on it and then I just fry it with coconut oil on each side until each side is crispy and it's the best best way to have tofu and also got to have it with sweet chili sauce as well so I've just got this sweet chili sauce from Sainsbury's so I'll put that on the side and dip the tofu in there and then for the stir fry um for the sauce Johan made like a paste using chili garlic um ginger soy sauce and lime I think that was it um, and he just mixed all of that together and then I fried, started frying the vegetables, put the paste on it, fried all the vegetables up and then added the noodles and then I added a little bit of extra soy sauce just because I wanted it a little bit more wet um, and I added a little bit more lime as well. Good evening, it is now 8.40 um, and we're just about to have dinner, just cooked. A delicious looking meal I can't wait to eat this one it's been like rainy and horrible and like just miserable for the past week in England and it just makes me crave like comfort food like something really stodgy so this is the meal today I have cooked a vegan carbonara this one is Johan's so it's got real cheese and this one's got my um, via life vegan cheese in there we have got some of this this isn't bacon faken bacon um which i'll insert a little image of just because you can't see it in the dish right now and i've already tasted it and it tastes really good 
I've got the whole pack of that in there. And then for the carbonara sauce, I mixed or whisked together soaked cashews. I only soaked them for a couple of hours. Some nutritional yeast, some onion powder, garlic powder, um, some Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, a little, uh, like a couple of chili flakes, um, and some vegan milk of your choice. So I just used oat milk because that's all we had. Whisk it all together and it makes this delicious creamy sauce. If you want any of these recipes in detail, I can do that. Um, I'm just not doing it this time, otherwise it'll be a really long video from doing it for all, all of the meals. But yeah, that's the meal today. I'm really looking forward to eating it. Treating myself to a glass of wine tonight because I can't really have a pasta meal without a glass of wine. Um, and we're about to watch The Handmaid's Tale, which I've watched all of it before. Johan hasn't, so I said I'll re-watch it with him because I actually love that show. So we're going to have a sofa dinner with a glass of wine and a carbonara. How more autumnal can you get? Oh, and I forgot to mention I did cook a little bit of broccoli as well because it's good to have some greens. <laughs> good evening. I'm not sure what number meal this is, but it's Wednesday, right? Yeah. And today's meal has been made by Johan, so he'll explain what we're having. I'll show you a close-up as well. So this is... um. Pearl barley and asparagus risotto uh, with some peas in there as well um, with also garlic and onion and parsley and and uh, and then on top there's some 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 sort of uh, <laughs> chicken pieces that we uh, uh, yeah that picked we... <laughs> up some reduced I think plant pioneers chicken I think they're chicken tikka actually. I don't know, some kind of but chicken pieces. They're like and they ready were, cooked. They were running out of date, so we had to um, to use them. So I chopped them up into little bits. I made like little chicken bacon bits mm. and sprinkled on top. And I've with had a, a taste, of, uh, and it's delicious. With a bit of vegan cheese on there as well. Yeah. Black so. pepper, a bit of garlic salt. Bam, bam, <laughs> boom. That's dinner for tonight. Good evening. It's now Thursday, and tonight for dinner we are having some vegan duck and pancakes. So we've got this vegan um, Linda McCartney duck, got some spring onions, red pepper and cucumber. And then we just bought these duck, well pancakes from Sainsbury's and some plum and hoisin sauce. Oh, actually, and we've got a Thai style salad. I don't know. It was just reduced in Sainsbury's. It's got some salad in it and some crispy bits and we're watching The Handmaid's Tale again on the sofa. Good afternoon everybody. It's Sunday now um, and I haven't filmed for the past couple of days because we had one takeaway which was delicious. We had a takeaway last night. It was Thai. Mm. And then the night before our friends come round and actually they bought some of their home cooked dinner for us because we'd just been working and Johan had been climbing um so that was really nice coming home to like a home cooked dinner not cooked by me or Johan <laughs> um and now I'm just waiting for Johan he's in the kitchen cooking we've actually been given a free box of hello fresh um because my brother and his girlfriend they both use it I've never used it before or anything like it um, and because they've been with HelloFresh for a certain amount of time, they got a free box to give away. So they gave us one. Um, so we've made a meal using that. So I'll show you when it comes. I can hear Johan. I think he's probably almost ready. Um, so we're going to have a, a, one of the meals from that. And then we're also going to have some artichokes, I think. Which I love artichokes. My favourite, favourite meal. And I only discovered them, like, not even a year ago. Like, not artichokes. I, I discovered artichokes before but I'd never had them whole and it's another level. So I'll show you dinner when it's ready. I hope the lighting's okay. My phone, the back of my phone is smashed and so it's struggling to focus. Um, but I've got this pasta dish, which looks delicious. I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe Johan will remember. And then we've got some steamed artichoke, which we'll have with salt and butter. Um, and then just some water, some coke, and a little bit of leftover wine. Can you explain what the pasta dish is? <clears throat> the pasta is... 
One second. <laughs> Let me see what it's called. Pasta is creamy green bean rigatoni. <laughs> so it's um, it's uh, creamy because we got oatly creme fraiche mixed in with um, there's like um, vegetable stock and onion and garlic and some mixed in with some water and uh, and uh, simmering that with then some um, alcover, like green beans with little cherry tomatoes. Um, then uh, pass them in there with parsley and mix it all up. Add some cheese, black pepper and um, salt and made a courgette uh, salad on the side with lemon juice and olive oil, salt and pepper. Um, and the uh, uh, then the um, courgette slices go on top of the salad. Salad, Yum. pasta. <laughs> so that's, that's for the pasta. Yay! So that last clip, I definitely forgot to film the end result of the meal, but I can guarantee you it was delicious. A loaded potato dish. Hello Fresh, I mean, it seems to be really good. It's just very convenient to have everything that you need for these pretty delicious recipes. Only problem I have is that you can't select a vegan and it feels like there's more waste, like more packaging in general, which is obviously not great either, but maybe less food waste. Not that I really waste that much food. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Please let me know in the comments down below or by giving this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more food related content. I have honestly just got a very broad channel right now, which I mean, those are the kind of channels that I like to watch, just a bit of everything. Um, but I'm more than happy to do some more specified videos so let me know if you've got any sort of requests down below again please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye